To God be the glory, and welcome to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. Yehoshua HaMashiach, who you know as Jesus, said that nations, that is to say various races throughout the world, will hate those who follow him and keep his father's commandments. Yehoshua indicated that we who keep the kingdom's laws and speak the kingdom's language and do the kingdom's work will be hated by the world. We will be persecuted, killed, and evil thought of by religious communities and nations of the world. Yehoshua said that those who follow him will suffer with him because of him, for the servant is not greater that it is a richer or more profitable or favored than his master who is God. And if they persecuted the master, they will also persecute his slave. Do you hear what I'm saying? The Lord said that those who follow him will suffer because of him. And because he is persecuted, they will be persecuted. For in this world, they will have tribulation. Do you hear what the master is saying? This eternal divine truth calls all of those false, increased wealth, building seed face, prosperity, whores, pimps, and murdering prophets, liars to their faces. As the saying goes, it's hard to beguile an honest and humble man, but it's easy to deceive a greedy, selfish, lazy fool. A fool and his money are soon parted. And I paraphrase. The point being is that it is easy for Satan to deceive those who do not wish to suffer with Christ, but who are perfectly happy with Christ's suffering for them. It is easy for the devil and his ministers to convince believers who want the glory of heaven on earth, but not the price of glory in heaven. It's easy for the devil to convince those believers who think that they can sin without consequences. It's easy for the devil to get them to believe in this grace theology whereby they can get away with murder. They can get away with homosexuality. They can get away with all kind of perversions and debauchery. They can get away with all kind of vulgarity and profanity. All they have to do is pay the preacher and pay the church in the name of Jesus and go to church and it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. People who think of themselves as being above the suffering of the Lord, but entitled to all of his benefits and promises, are predisposed to believe in the lies and religions of Satan. They and Satan are kindred spirits. Thus, Jesus calls him their father. John 8, 44. See, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Therefore, we must endure hardship as good soldiers of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, the anointed one from Father Yahweh, Second Timothy 2. Ephesians 6 tells us plainly that we are at war, and our warfare is different than all other warfare there's ever been. We are fighting invisible forces as well as persecution and death. The conclusion of the matter being that following the Holy Anointed Savior is not a venture for the wealth seeker or prosperity pimp and pimpettes. Being a born-again saint of Yahweh requires divine integrity and pure holiness. It is not about sincerity. It is about faith. It is not for the repentant, greedy, cowardly, sexual pervert, nor the unbelieving, abominable murderer, and those who practice in the supernatural arts of sorcery and idolatry. No, it's not for them. Revelations 21. Let us be clear. Those who are too cowardly to suffer with and for the sake of the only God who saves their souls from hell will be assigned and judged to a place called the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. This will be their second death. Revelations 21. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, please have mercy on us all. May we all willingly share in your sufferings that we may also share in your glory. Romans 8, 17. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And thank you, God. Repent. I'm O.W. Prince. And this has been your real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts, but God heals. Keep looking up.